James, your first professional contract in football, how are you feeling to get pen to paper and that one over the line? Yeah, you know, um, it's exciting times. It's been it's been sort of a long pre-pre-season, if you can call it. And it's great to put pen to paper because, you know, negotiating contracts and things and all the stuff that you don't want, you just want to play football, get on with it. And it's, it's brilliant to do that, such a brilliant club. You made your debut in the National League. You're the youngest player in history just 16 years old it seems like quite a long time ago now yeah wow two two years ago um and still one of my greatest achievements but you know we moved on from that now i'm 18 i'm an adult you know i want to be that number one week in week out and hopefully this season i can show that if you're good enough you're old enough and that's what i really want to show to the fans and to the manager and to the rest of the team this season why don't you tell us a little bit about how you see your career so far yeah, so um, I think it was brilliant getting the record um, for my family, for myself. But I want to move on from that. I want to cement my place in this team, whether that means going out on loan this season and learning from Laurie's just come in. Um, I, just want, I just want game time, I want to play football. And then we can look at the longer picture, but I'm one of them short pages at a time to finish the book and it's about getting that number one shirt here first, and that's what I want. You've obviously been in and around the first team for quite a lot. Um, and as you say, Laurie Walker coming in from Stevenage, you've got to be excited to learn from him. Massively, massively. I think since Lochi, obviously Lochi, unbelievable character, brilliant personality and unbelievable keeper as well. I think Laurie as well, we've, we had a year where there wasn't a senior keeper around. Laurie's come in and I'm really, really excited to not only train with him, but meet him and talk to him as a person and hopefully as a friend and um, I'm really learn off him because, you know, I've done my research when a new keeper comes in, you sort of do your research and it's mega, you know, his resume is brilliant. So to learn off that would, is what an 18 year old dreams of. So yeah, it's great to have that. You obviously talk about Scott Loach, but also you've trained alongside the likes of Adam Parks, Eamon Azaz, uh, Jake Askew and Aston Oxbrough. You must have learned a load from them as well. Yeah, definitely. It's as well when it's, the, the difference is when there's a senior keeper around, they have, they just have this presence about them. You know, Eamon had a brilliant season last year. He came in, did really well. Um, Parks here when he came in, did really well. Oxo, obviously absolute beast of a man. Um, he did he did well last year, but um, Laurie, I think he'll have that personality, he'll have that experience behind him, and to learn from that because I like to think I've a personality, quite a big personality as well. So it's it's just brilliant. I'm honestly really excited to learn off him. Really excited. You're 18. You've been at the club a long time. How do you yeah. feel that you've progressed as a player since you've been there? Hugely. You know, Barnet. I love the club. Absolutely love it. Um, the people here, the staff, even when you go down to Starbucks and you say hi to the people behind the bar and the people behind the Starbucks, it's, it's, what, it's what an 18 year old dreams of to come to a facility like this, a place like this and know everyone already and be part of the system. Um, if, God, it feels like yesterday I was ball boy against Brentford in the FA Cup. Um, and that's still a day that I can't get out of my head and I want to be the one playing in that, not ball boy. So fingers crossed soon. Talking of fingers, you <laughs> had a bit of an injury last season on your finger. How's that been going? Yeah, um, last season was a tough season. Um, I did. I had an injury in the FA Youth Cup right at the start before Christmas. Came back and then the first session back, I dislocated my finger and then that went on to be more than just a dislocation. But that being said, you know, I'm back now. I'm fully fit. I've had a good pre pre season, as I've been calling it. And um, I'm just buzzing to get back and really show the fans, the management, and the new players that have come in what I'm really about. Because, like I said, I'm a massive believer in if you're good enough, you're old enough. And I hope that everyone else sees that this season. I've known you for quite a while now, and I know you love your rugby and you're a very competitive person. Um, are you looking to push even harder now and has the pro contract given you that extra impetus to do so? Definitely. I think when you're 16, 17, 
there's there's almost uh, you can explore different different paths. However, I've gone one hundred percent now into football. That is what I want. That is the that's my trophy right now. Get into football. Get into the football league this year, hopefully, and really push on from there and really progress through the football ranks, just like the likes of Jordan Pitford and Aaron Ramsdale have done. I want to be the next one, the next one after that. So I've committed and I'm here and I'm going to be giving it 100% no matter what. We're all behind you. Congratulations on your first pro contract. Thank you. And uh, wish you the very best for the upcoming season. Thank you very much. Thanks, James.